guys it's me again so I come up with another project um, that Eric thought I should share so anyway a while back and I know we showed it on one of the lives Tessa my friend sent me a piece of um, beetle kill pine and I have cut these down look at these board this board this is beautiful so I've cut it down, sanded it down, uh, cut it to size, and I'm going to make a table. So <clears throat> this is gorgeous. I put two coats of sanding, I mean not sanding sealer, I'm sorry, uh, penetrating epoxy on it. Just because I don't want a bunch of uh, bubbles in it. And I'm going to make a table. And this table is kind of in honor of Dave. Well, yeah, it's in honor of Dave. And I'll, I'll get into more about the, his... <laughs> His collecting story uh, as we go but um, anyway so we thought we would do a video just to show you what we're doing so Eric made me a box and I think this is uh, 18 by 22 or almost yeah. 22 yeah and then we cut the boards to size so these are gonna set in here like this they do go in I promise there we go there we go and this is going to be a river table, but it's going to be a little different. Um, it's going to be, like I said, it's in honor of Dave and his uh, collecting habits. <laughs> but um, so we're going to kind of go through the process and I'm going to put some colored epoxy down here. And then I'm going to do some layering with the epoxy um, as we go. So I'm using, of course, Total Boat Tabletop um, resin because I love this stuff, it's amazing. And then I'm gonna use this diamond black for my bottom, for my, my um, color piece down here. So we're gonna go off camera, I'm gonna mix the resin, and then we'll be back. <laughs> All right guys, I said this name wrong. This is black diamond pigment powder, but the color is diamond aluminum. So that's, uh, a little oops there. Babe, can you move my phone, please? So it's kind of a gray. Oh, stir it up a little bit here. Huh. Kind of black and aluminum to yeah, mix together. Yeah, mix together. I think I'm going to add a little bit more pigment, though. Huh. That's cool. So we, um, it's 95 degrees in here. It's uh, about 110 outside, I think, today. 110, 115, something like that. We've had the air conditioner going in here it's since. It's still 95 degrees. Yeah, we've had the air conditioner going in here for several hours. It's still 95. But. Okay, so I made tw uh, 24 ounces. That is 12 ounces of uh, resin and 12 ounces of of hardener and the reason I made so much is because there is a gap down in here so I know it's going to go underneath the boards so and there's a gap here Ooh, that's pretty and I did level it off so um obviously you're not making this all in one pour no because I don't think you've talked about that. no I didn't I'm going to be doing layers with some stuff in the layers but i want it to be the pieces uh, i guess i could show you well, you don't have to okay the, pe the pieces that i'm going to be want layering i want them to look like they're floating so that's why i did it this way now i know that's going to go down a little bit like i said because there is gaps in there um So, and it, again, I did level it off, and um, but there are those gaps, so this will go down a little bit, and then uh, I'll come back. And the rest is going to be clear, so you're going to see stuff floating in the clear resin. So that's why I did it this way. I wanted there to be um, like a dimensional look to it, so... 
that's about it i'm going to get this thing covered up i'll come out and check it every once in a while for the bubbles and uh we'll take it from there and see what happens so we'll be back in a little bit hi guys welcome back all right so first i need to start out by telling you dave's story of collecting things dave was very very creative you know he's pretty much developed the router base plates, a router bit depth gauge, and there's so much more that he's developed. So he's constantly buying stuff. He was always buying, I don't know, things. We've got boxes and boxes of things that we have. Um, but one of the things, he started uh, developing these um, wine glass charms. So he bought a lot, a lot of charms, and Eric's gonna show you a few of them down here. So this is a few of the charms um, that he bought. He bought hooks to for the necklaces. He bought earring things for the charm things. Charms, uh, little bead, I guess those are like dividers go between the beads. I guess. Just all kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do, yeah, this little box, these, these things are full of different charms and it, it his mind the way his mind worked um was pretty incredible but it's funny he didn't talk about a lot of it because it was in his head and he didn't really want to talk about it till he got it figured out perfected and uh samples made but anyway so what i'm doing is with this table you can see i poured that uh what was it diamond aluminum bottom here yeah and like the rest that. is just going to be clear but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle a bunch of these charms in here and I'm going to do it in layers to make it look like kind of like they're floating. That's my plan. Hopefully it works out that way. So again, I've made 24 ounces of the tabletop uh, resin and I'm going to pour this in and then I'm going to sprinkle the uh, charms in there. And again, it's going to be in layers because it's pretty thick and you're not supposed to pour it more than, I think, I want to say it's a quarter of an inch uh, deep at a time. Otherwise, you get a big mess. Trust me, I know. Because I've had messes. So, you guys got to kind of follow along with me if you want. So, that's that. I'm going to try to get some of the bubbles out. And they're still going to come up because that's what they do. So I just took a bunch of these charms and we just kind of mixed them. And I'm just going to sprinkle them. And then go in and kind of, oop, I didn't want all those in one spot. I can move them around all I want here. So we're just going to. And this will go in Dave's room, um, um, guest room, Dave's room. Um, this is kind of a table and just, just a little tribute to Dave. Oh, that's cute. That's a little, one of those little sewing machine things. So we, I guess he bought these on Amazon and they're, um, I guess you buy bulk, just char uh, bulk thing of charms and they're all different kinds so I want them right side up now I saw a video of a gal that did this but what she did was she just poured all of them into the resin and mixed it and then um, poured it in just like res with the resin so I'm not going to do that so I'll go in and turn them right side up because some of them, oops, oh, it's kind of a clump. But these are so cool. And we didn't know what to do with them. And then Tessa sent me this awesome board. So, i got to mix these up because they're all in one big clump here. Little teapot, hearts, um, all different kinds of stuff. Crown. Oh, there's a crown. That should be on top. Um, can you see any that I'm not turning over, Eric? I'm looking through the camera, so it's tough for me to see. Okay, I'm going to need your help here. 
So we're just going to kind of go through this, turn these upright side up as much as we can. Yeah, because some of them land upside down. Yeah. yeah. Try and separate them, huh? Yeah, because we don't really want clumps. We want them all over the place. Like here's a little starfish that's upside down. This horseshoe is upside down. So that's what we're doing, you guys. Um, you'll kind of, we'll kind of let you follow along with. Oh, that one's got a sparkly in it. Yeah, that was upside down. <laughs> so this will be fun. Here, oops, that's a little oh, turtle was upside down. Okay. Like this one says, "Ride with love." It's obviously like a little biker type of thing. This one needs to be moved. So we are going to kind of just play with this a little bit, get these turned right side up or the other way. Not sure. Some of them look like they're upside down, but they're not. And then uh, when we come back, we'll pour the next layer and see how it goes. Again, my intention is I really want this to look like it's these charms are kind of floating in there. So anyway, guys, uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll, oh, a little fork, how cute is that? Um, we'll be back to pour the next layer on the next scene. All right, you guys. So there is the results after the first pour. Now. Now. Now we're going to do another pour. Now I only made 16 ounces this time. 8 ounces of resin, 8 ounces of hardener. Because it's quite deep where those uh, ch uh, charms settled in there. So I'm going to try this again. And we're not going to put near as many um, charms on there either. And if you look, there are some bubbles. And I'm not sure if you can see them. Right here there's one. There's one over here. And there's a couple of small ones there. Um, but it's okay because we're going to cover them up with a charm. So here we go. That looks so cool. I think the next layer I'll probably do even less resin. So there's that. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I think I did this on the other one too. Get rid of some bubbles. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put, oh, there goes one. So I'm going to do, I like these rings on there, but, so we're going to do basically the same thing. We are going to turn but them But not right. quite as many, is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm not going to do them. quite as many. But, oop, run away. But, they're sticking to my hand. I do want to do some of these leather kind of ones. So check this one out. Look at this dragon. He's Sorry, kind of cool. I'm uh, kind of going back and forth here, guys. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. It's a dragon. I like it's that. a dragon. Yeah. Oop, we gotta get the fork away from him there. Dragon was getting stuck by the fork. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> okay, this this is cool. This is a little tree, like a tree of life. Actually, I want this one. I want you, little tree. I want to see if I can get him to stay up there. All on the side? Yeah. And I have something, too, that I'm going to put up here for before I do my flood coat also. Should I show? No. Okay. Nope, Eric says you can't see it right now. Sorry. You see it at the end. <laughs> okay, so that's about it. I might put a few more. But now we're going to just go and turn them all over again. 
little sailboat. I think I will put a few more on there. All right, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, see, they look already like they're floating. Kind of tough to tell through the camera lens here, but hopefully, uh, I think you guys right in, uh, Right in that area right there, you're getting some glare from the light up above. All right, so I had a bubble. There it is. So I'm going to cover that baby up. Look at this guitar. He's cute. Yeah, the, see that guitar there? And then we have a little owl. Those are all kinds of neat little doodads. Yeah, your there. dad had some really good ideas going into this with the... I don't know about the... Wine charms or the wine. That's the thing. Dad's mind just you, never stopped. You never know. He never stopped trying to develop new stuff. And so he was going to do a whole line of uh, wine glass charms and different things like that. All right. I think I need more. What do you think? Think I should put some more in there? No. No? No. I think that looks really good the way it is. No. I need a couple more over here. Yeah, that's why I say, why ask me? <laughs> <laughs> it's your project. Just a couple. I won't do... Let's see, is that right side up? This one says something. It says, best friends. There. So that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll come back and... We're just going to kind of keep doing layers until it's what I want so there you go look at it and so it already looks like it's got the look of floating yeah yeah awesome okay guys we'll be back on the next one all right guys welcome back so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour third layer I think one, this is the two. third one yeah this is the third one yeah and uh, again I made about 16 ounces um of resin totally table to total boat and <laughs> total, totally total boat um so we're gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a few less charms again because i really want to be able to see the depth and see the charms i don't really want to cover a bunch of them up so we are gonna do this I put a little tree right here. You saw that. But I also found a little cross I liked. So I put that on there too. Just because I can. So you think the best way to go then, rather than putting the charms in the resin before you um, pour it, is to... Quite honestly, I don't think it would matter because we'd have to turn them um, either way. So I don't really think it would matter, but... We'll just stick with this way. I'm going to let it flow in here a little bit. That's so cool looking. I don't know if you guys can see, but what Vicky was going for as far as the floating, she I certainly is all accomplishing. I the charms to look like they were floating. I just, uh, I don't know, just to be different, I guess. So I have some charms here. I want to say that's going to go on the top. So... Again, we're just going to put a little bit less this time. And I don't know exactly what that means for how many, but we're going to play it by ear. <laughs> play it by sight, I guess I should say. So you, uh, did, I can't remember, did you say how much you resin you I did. I used, I did about um, 8 ounces of hardener, 8 ounces of resin. So there's like 16 ounces in there. Whoops. I got a piece that's kind of... Had some of them kind of stick to the table, so we got little bits with resin on them, but I don't think they're going to make a difference in show. Oops, dropped one. I know it looks like I'm putting a lot, but I'm really not. I just got to be able to find them when I get to uh, try to turn them over.
Oh, I see. I just dropped a piece of resin in there. All right, let's see. Might as well. It looked like that Eiffel Tower for a second was going to stand straight up. That, that would be cool. That one that you just, did you see where it went? The Eiffel Tower, oh this yeah, one? Yeah, that one. When you dropped it in there, it like for a second it stood up. Yeah, how about that? That still should be down below the surface, huh? Oh yeah, it'll once, be below Once you the do surface. your last flood pour? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Might as well put these few little remainders in there. Uh, let's see, I got a couple more here. All right, so now I'm just going to turn them over. Again, hopefully, I get. Oh, that's a little football. That's cute. Those skulls upside down. I'm not crazy about the skulls, but they were in there, so. Oops, nope, he was right. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, a seashell. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, keep... Uh, Spinning these little things over if they won't, don't want to turn. Yeah, sometimes you use two of them. It's like if they don't to turn over really Stick easy. to the bottom part there. Give them a little. There. Ah, got a tickle. These little charms here say "made with love." See? Uh, I don't know if you're gonna go upside down or not. So what we're going to do is, again, I'm going to keep uh, turning these over. It's funny because I can't tell which ones are underneath and which ones are on top there. That's a good thing. I know. It it's is so a good clear thing that they, uh, you can't really tell yeah. what level they're on. Oh, there's starfishes upside down. Little house. All right, I think we'll keep looking at them just to make sure we got everything. Oh, look at the dolphin. How cute is that? I want to move that over there a little bit. There we go. I'm, I'm not going to put in... Oh, I see another piece of resin. Dry resin. Does not be long. All right, guys, that's about it for that. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and close this up. And um, I'm going to put you over here. I'm not crazy about this guy. He's a skull. I'm not a big skull fan. Um, so we're going to let this set now. And then we're going to close up this video because we don't want it to go too long. And... Um, when we come back on the next video, we're going to finish it up. So I think I have probably at least one more pour. I, one more pour is all I need because I don't want it to come up over here too much. So I know I have at least one more pour with the charms. And then we're going to do, I'll clean it up, sand it down and everything. And we'll do the um, flood pour. And then I bought some cool legs for it too. So we'll put those on and then we'll have a finished product on the next video. So thanks for watching you guys. Um, give us thumbs up if you feel the thumbs up-y. <laughs> hey, that's a word. And uh, share the video and uh, come back. Comments. Oh, yes. Make sure you leave comments because that helps with our algorithms or yeah. status on YouTube basically. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. We'll wrap this thing up. So have a great week. Bye.